Devi and today we're going to talk about the real big bull of India. He started his investment journey with just rupees 5000 and today he has investments of over rupees 40000 crores. Yes, we're referring to none other than the legend of the stock market, the late Mr. Rakesh Junjunwala. As the country mourns his loss, we decide to take a trip down the memory lane to reminisce about the story of his glory. Often referred to as India's Warren Buffet and the big bull of Indian markets, Mr. Junjunwala was one of the most popular and respected investors in the country. And today at Basically, we'll tell you about the inspiring life that he led. The making of a legend. Rakesh Junjunwala was an investor with the Midas touch. And from a very young age, he had developed an interest in the stock market. His father used to discuss the stock market with his friends and listening to those conversations, Rakesh used to ask them a lot of questions. And with every conversation, his interest in the stock market grew. Then after completing his chartered accountant degree in 1984, he chose to invest and trade in the stock market. And he was a risk taker from the very beginning. He started out by investing just rupees 5,000 in the stock market. His first stock was Tata Tea, which rose from rupees 43 a piece to a gigantic rupees 143 a piece in just three months of his buying. He made a lot of profit from this stock. In three years, following that, his shares in Tata Tea resulted in a profit of around rupees 25 lakh, which was also his first big profit. After the 2008 global recession, his stock prices fell by 30%, but he eventually recovered from the loss by 2012. He always focused on and emphasized the importance of long-term gains. He had investments in more than three dozen companies and most valuable being watch and jewelry maker Titan. His portfolio included companies like Star Health, Rallis India, Escorts, Canara Bank, Indian Hotels Company, Agrotech Foods, Nazara Technologies and Tata Motors. Then he went ahead and established his own company called Rare Enterprises an asset management firm from where he managed his own portfolio. The name Rare is made of the first two letters of his name and his wife's name, Rakesh and Rekha, who is a stock market player herself. He also believed in helping the society and used to do a lot of charity. He had contributed to St. Jude, which runs shelters for cancer-affected children, Agastya International Foundation and Arpan, an entity that helps create awareness among children on sexual exploitation. He also supported Ashoka University, Friends of Tribal Society and the Olympic Gold Quest. His latest foray was in the airline sector with Akasa Air. Junchanwala was a man with dreams and Akasa Air shows that even sky is not the limit for ambition. On August 14, 2022, he passed away in Mumbai and even the Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, put out a post grieving his death. According to Forbes Rich List, Junjunwala was ranked the 36th richest man in the country. He was the chairman of Hangama Media and Aptec and was on the board of directors of firms such as Viceroy Hotels, Concord Biotech, Provogue India and Geojit Financial Services. Ending with one of the most inspiring dialogues of the late Mr. Rakesh Junjunwala, you cannot make profits in the stock market unless you have the ability to bear a loss. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.